Apple intelligence, known as AI, is not working on your iPhone. I'll show you how to fix it, but first, hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It really helps me out. Thank you. The first issue is you only see the Siri option. The second issue is you see Apple intelligence and Siri, but you can't turn it on. So by the end, we will have Apple intelligence and it will be turned on. So the first thing is the device requirements. Only iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max and iPhone 16 series have this feature. This does mean iPhone 15 non-pro, iPhone 15 Plus, any other iPhone will never get the Apple intelligence. Yes, you heard that correctly. So if you have these older iPhones, well, good luck. Now, if you have iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max, why do we not have Apple intelligence? This is iPhone 15 Pro, this is iPhone 15 Pro Max. So, if you only see Siri in your settings, that means you're on the wrong iOS. So let's head into the general, then software update. The issue is you're on iOS 18.0 or iOS 18.0.1. We need to update to iOS 18.1 or newer. You may have an issue where you don't see iOS 18.1. You're only on the iOS 18.0. So what that means is you need to use the beta version. To get the beta, it takes about 20 seconds. Just head to developer.apple.com and then sign in with your account by tapping the lines, account, log in. Once logged in, agree to the terms and conditions. You don't need to tap enroll today. Don't tap that one. That's going to cost money. Once you do that, you are a free developer. You'll be able to get beta updates and iOS 18.1. Now, if you do this, you will only get Apple intelligence if you're in the United States. However, I am outside of the United States and I have the feature. So if you want some of Apple intelligence, which means the, you know, the cleanup feature. So if I go here, and I go here, you can see the cleanup option and the other AI stuff which is scattered around Apple intelligence. Once you update to iOS 18.1, if you set your serial request language to English United States, this means you won't have to change your region. So we won't have to change our region, which will break a lot of stuff. Then some of the AI features should work. So the cleanup for me is working. Boom, I can do the circle and all that good stuff. There's some other AI features, I, I can't even remember what they are, like the call recording transcripts, stuff like that. And so that's great. Now, the issue is we want the full Apple intelligence. Now, for most people, I would not recommend proceeding with the next steps. You'll understand why. So if we want full Apple intelligence, what we have to do is we set the language to English United States. We then head to general, then language and region, and we need to set our region to also United States. This will break Apple Pay and some Apple services if you do this and you're not actually in the US region. Remember, if you are in the US right now, you can just turn on the feature. I'm talking about how to continue if we are outside of the US. Once we've done this, we will need to create a new Apple ID which has a country and region in the United States which means we will have to sign out of iCloud, okay, which is why I don't really recommend this. However, if, if you don't care, you guess you can. And then you just open up a browser and then we're going to go to appleid.apple.com. Once we're on this page, we'll tap the lines. We'll then tap create your Apple account. And so we're gonna create a new account with the US country or region Make sure everything is your real information, but under phone number, you need to use your real phone number. And then when it asks for the address, which it will do, you just Google fake address generator US, put in the fake address generator, put in the fake address information, well then you sign up iCloud in your existing account, sign in with the US account like I've done. This is a spare iPhone. I would never do this on a personal iPhone, okay? Once that is done, you can go into Apple Intelligence and you'll be able to apply for it and turn it on like I have. Now, the final thing to note is there is a release schedule. So in the US, it's released already. 
In the UK, it will release December 2024. In other countries, it's mid 2025. So hopefully this helps. I mean, I don't know.